playing for you guys all night. DJ Carl is probably one of the presenters, and I'm sorry to the other seven, that, that I'm most excited about to, to hear what he has to say in conjunction with his slides. Uh, he's kind of taking things in a new direction with, with his presentation. I'm not going to say a lot more because I think it speaks for itself. Uh, Carl, come on up. Carl Connolly, everybody. This will be really embarrassing if this is crap after that introduction. <laughs> Hi, good evening everybody. My name is Carl, aka DJ Carly Boy, and it's great to see you all here tonight. I'm really happy to be actually playing tonight. It's a bit of a change for me to be playing in a museum as opposed to a club. And um, totally different crowd, obviously, uh, um, so, so I'm a bit out of sorts. So my name is Carl, uh, DJ Carly Boy was a name, um, my, my aunt used to call me Carly Boy when I was a kid, so it kind of stuck with me. Um, I'm a full-time technical consultant by day, I'm a law student at night, but my real passion in life, and I wish I could do it every day of my life, is DJ. So this is me in 1991, so you can probably tell I grew up in Ireland. <laughs> so that's when I first start, got exposed to house music. Um, I went to an all-night party that a friend dragged me to, which turned out to be a rave party, so I don't know if you know what they are, but they're basically a DJ plays all night. And that was the first time I got exposed to house music. The DJ was dropping tunes, and it was just so amazing. Everybody in the room was captivated, and everybody was basically in touch with the music. The guy was mixing the music, which had never been done before, and it was just evolving in such a way that it just kept going all night, and it was just amazing, and I said to myself, oh, I want a bit of that. Um, so that's basically where I started a DJ. When I usually say I'm a DJ to most people, <laughs> exhibit A. <laughs> most people think, oh, what, you wear tuxedos and you talk on the mic all the time, you do bar mitzvahs and weddings? I'm like, absolutely not. Um, DJs traditionally are guys that just play one record after the next, play everything from ACDC to slow sets. So if you ask me what a DJ is, I'll say, oh, it's a guy or a girl who loves clubbing, who loves club culture, who goes out a lot, although not so much anymore, and uh, <laughs> can actually mix records. So you may not have noticed it there tonight, but I'm actually hard at work behind the turntable. So not playing one record and playing the next. It's all about mixing house music. So let me start by telling you what house music is. Well, obviously you've all heard it tonight, but house music was born in 1980. It started out in Detroit in a club called The Warehouse, so they just basically took the name. Um, DJs there were doing something totally different. They were taking disco records and mixing them with Latin beats, house beats. Um, Oh, this is going too fast. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of different genres of house music, so um, house music is really, truly international. Wherever it goes, it has an impact on the, on the young people there, and they basically put their own flavor to it, whether it be house, uh, Latin house, Asian house, trip hop, bright beat, or my favorite, progressive house, which I'll play a bit later on. Um, so this is the basic configuration that a DJ needs. Um, traditionally, it's been two turntables, a mixer, and obviously headphones. You can see I'm using a laptop tonight. Um, I'm using special vinyl and I can actually um, edit the music on the fly. So I'm actually remixing those tracks as we are playing them tonight. And then adding effects. So it's really a truly a live um, format. This is the um, change in the format. Much like our, the rest of our lives, technology is really impacting DJs. So DJs from 20 years ago used to play with records, which I do, but now DJs play with CDs and also just the software. So there's a lot more you can do than just play the records. In fact, you're much busier behind the turntables now than you were a few years ago. So mixing records, obviously um, house music is all about being able to mix. And mixing records basically means taking one record that's playing for the audience and queuing up the record in your headphones and then being able to mix it in a way that it's um, you know, smooth and it doesn't throw the dancer off. So it's very calculated actually. And it sounds really boring to talk about it in that way, but <laughs> it's not really. Um, so beat matching, oh, we have to do a little uh, experiment here tonight, but beat matching is basically counting the beats in your head. So I'm not like a lunatic out there counting the beats in my head, because I know how to do it now, but I want everybody to help me. So what we're gonna do is a little experiment, and please, please speak up. I don't wanna be up here counting by myself. The first slide I will do, and then everybody else will have to do the next slide after that. So I'll exp and you want to be listening for the 8-beat because that's when things actually change in the record. So I will do the first one and then I want everybody to chime in, okay? And we have to get this exactly right. This is the real tough part about my presentation. 
Um, but you'll see I'll be counting the beats in my head and I'll be going one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's it for me now. Everybody ready? happened there it was a change in the record and that's how you pace the record so you listen the whole time you know on the 8 beat something's going to change so you already have a record playing you need to speed up or slow down the record so it will actually mix and not cause a train wreck that's what we call it so you can see there's a pitch control on the side of the turntable which actually allows you to increase or decrease the speed of the record and that's basically how you can cue up the record in your head and mix it in so it's a nice smooth transition you don't want to throw off the dancers on the fl on the floor because trust me they're very sensitive people <laughs> So in the club, obviously, the best thing a DJ can do is create a good flow. I played sets for 13 hours long, where you just keep the flow going, you know, and I played sets for, you know, half an hour, and I played sets like tonight, where nobody really wants to dance. <laughs> okay, so when I'm involved in the club, I usually try to get involved in all aspects, and these are some of the gigs I've done. I, I like to get involved with the decor, the lights, even choosing the staff for the night, because for me, the most important thing is that people come out and they have a really good time. You know, the beauty of house music is it's very uplifting and it's very positive music. It's not like some other genres that, you know, call out bitches and hoes and all that crap. You know, I'm just really into a good positive vibe. So, so um, you know, it's really important. So boat parties. Boat parties are a great, great, great venue for house music. The last boat party I played was in New York and um, we left at 12 o'clock at night. We were sailing around. There was 300 people on the boat. Everybody's going crazy. And I look up for one moment and I thought I was in a film because the Statue of Liberty was looking right down on me. It was absolutely surreal and the music just seems to have a great unifying effect. So this is the Puma store. Last year in Puma, I, um, at the Natick Collection, I played, for, uh, I played for six months. Is that going really fast or is it me? <laughs> um, I played, I played for six months um, on a Saturday from four to till closing and it's just amazing to watch the effect up close of the music because there's a DJ in the store, you know, people are in there, they're exhausted after being shopping all day, they go in with their bags, the kids, and as soon as they see a DJ and the music's blasting, they absolutely go nuts. So the last slide, I think I'm out of time, right? <laughs> Get the hook. Oh, sorry, I'm breaking the rules here, but uh, thanks very much. My website is djcarlyboy.com. Uh, okay, so